Okay, we're on our mathematical proof topic. Uh, if you've checked out example 13, we were trying to evaluate uh, the, the different terms in a series using the summation uh, formulae, and we found it could get quite cumbersome. So, uh, fortunately, we have formulae to help us with some of the most common uh, summations, and that is sigma k, which is basically the, the sum of all the whole numbers from 1, uh, sigma k squared, which is the sum of all the square numbers from 1, and sigma k cubed, which is the sum of all the cube numbers from 1. And fortunately for us, there are formulae to help us do that, and these are those three uh, that we've got listed here. So we're going to have a look at how we can use these formulae and how they help us to evaluate totals. Okay, so here's uh, example 14. Uh, we're going to evaluate uh, this the, the sum of the series with all the terms 2k from k equals 1 to 5. Now we could, because it's fairly straightforward, what that means is substituting all the numbers from 1 to 5 into 2k and we would get 2, 4, or whether it's a series, so we'll get a plus sign, 2 plus 4. When k is 3, that becomes 6. When k is 4, it becomes 8. And when we get to the last one, we've got 10. In other words, it's not difficult to work out all the elements in that series and then add them up. The answer is 30. But it's obviously going to get more complex. So bag that answer 30 because we're not going to do it that way. We're going to use the formula. So what we need to do is to isolate sigma k, not 2k. In actual fact, the answer to 2k is just going to be twice the answer to sigma k uh, from 1 to 5. So if there's a multiple in front of the letter k, we can bring that out effectively as a common factor. And we're going to use the formula uh, for sigma k, which happens to be n times n plus 1 over 2, which in this case is n is 5. n is the largest uh, or last number of n. So it becomes 5 times 6 divided by 2. And the 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 cancel out 5 times 6, sure enough. Is 30, so the formula works. What happens when there's a, a constant term adding or subtracting? Okay, well, again, let's just have a look at what we would do uh, if we were doing it in full. We would start with k is 1, which is 5 minus 2. I'm going to write it out like that. Plus, when k is 2, it would become 10 minus 2. And when k is 3, it would become 15 minus 2, and so on. So we've got these initial values uh, of 5, 10, which is 5 times the, the, the sum of all the single numbers, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But you notice every time it says minus 2, minus 2, we're going to gather up all these negative 2s. How many are there going to be in total? Uh, there's going to be 8 of them. So in actual fact, when it's a constant term, at the end we're just going to say there's 8 lots of negative 2. So let's strip away this uh, the, the algebra here. We're saying that there's five lots of sigma k from k equals 1 to 8. There's five lots of that. Minus, if we we're being uh, proper about it, we could say uh, just negative 2. Uh, the sum of the number negative 2 from 1 to 8. In practice, uh, I tend to just say, look, we're going to effect add on, or you're going to subtract eight lots of two. Okay, technically, we're going to add on eight lots of negative two. Let's do it that way. Okay, because we're, we're adding all the different elements. So we know that uh, in the first instance here, we've got five lots of sigma k. Well, we know the formula n times n plus one over two. We're going to get minus 6 at the end, and n this time is 8, so we've got 8 times 9 divided by 2. I need to work that out, 78 uh, times 9 is 72 divided by 2 is 36, 36, let's just write that down. Multiply by 5 is 180, uh, subtract 16 is 154. Okay, so they're not too complicated at the moment, but what it's doing is it's helping us. Uh, it's actually 164, isn't it? I just can't do basic arithmetic 180 minus 16, 164. So
So that's us using the formula. We're going to get a wee bit more complex in example 15 uh, and 16, so check them out. Um, that's, but that's basically how we can do the, uh, these clusters.